Let me get the tuning condenser out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Looks a little better than it did. Looks like most of the uh, surface rust and uh, grime and dirt is off. Let me get it out here so we can take a closer look at it. That looks a whole lot better. Let me inspect it a little closer and take this thing inside and uh, rinse it off with some fresh water. As you guys just saw, about uh, 10 cycles, I think it's what I counted, 10 to 12 four-minute cycles through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, a little citric acid, some dishwashing detergent. You may be able to catch this, see a little bit of glare, new uh, mica for the uh, trimmer caps there on top of the condenser, new lead dress ready to go. Got everything uh, oiled and uh, lubricated with some grease. You guys have seen me do that before. So it cleaned up uh, really well. Got rid of all the uh, surface rust and uh, I've got everything preset. Each section of the uh, tuning condenser to match the uh, my findings um, before or after removing the uh, tuning condenser out of the circuit. So that should get us close enough once we uh, get the receiver playing, assuming we do. Um, just some slight adjustments, it's all that uh, should be required. In addition, you can see I left the uh, tuning condenser plates uh, bent as found. We'll play around with those during the alignment process if that opportunity presents itself. Anyway, enough uh, rambling here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply some elbow grease to that chassis. That's a total mess and also make a decision on how to move forward with the uh, capacitors as well, the uh, trimmers for the uh, IF cans that are mounted uh, external to the uh, chassis. Thanks for watching.